Hey everyone, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. I have a situation on my forehead. It must be from my tanning drops that I did last night. I used that like Isle of Paradise, I think the brand is called, and just drop them in with your moisturizer. And yeah, I still don't really understand like how this happened. I bought two new products and I love my brow so far. This is the product I'm using there. I've used the NYX regular clear glue and I love that. It's the only thing I'll ever use on my brows, but this new one is a tinted one. So I got the cool blonde shade and yeah, it just almost adds like a little bit of fullness. And then I got a clear mascara, which I'll put on the screen too, because of my lift and tint. And that's really helpful. I think, um, I think that's what I was missing. It gives it a little bit of oomph. Anyways, really like that. I think like for me, for me, I really like cold. I mainly just like just having my brows done, my my eyebrow glue. Yeah, and then a mascara always makes me a little bit happy too, but I'm kind of, I, I've gotten lazy about that over time. I'm loving the lift and tint, especially after getting that mascara. I gotta go pick up the kids, so I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it's a Saturday. We're going to Malahide Castle. We're gonna go to the Botanic Gardens because we have that annual pass. I'm gonna see some butterflies, have ourselves a beautiful little stroll. It's a gorgeous day in the neighborhood. Can we see the sky? And look at the beautiful leaves changing colors. That's it, we went out for breakfast. The girls had waffles. Okay, come along with us. Do it again. <laughs> Let's go into this butterfly house first. Whoa, you're strong. Oh, butterflies! Sunny day. It's always been Wait, quite gloomy, so it's Wait, pretty to see the sun. Look, look. Cool. I'm gonna get some flower and spell for one? my garden. I'm gonna be a Can good flower mom when we get our house. Stunning here today with the sun shining. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Through the door, sister. The White House. The president? Today is, oh no, which way? This way. Let's follow my, Oh, oh no, Keith, don't get lost. Hey guys, it's Sunday, dad's day off work. As usual, we don't ever plan anything ahead of time and then it'll be like 11 a.m. and we're like, what should we do for the day? And nobody can decide. So we're being a little bit adventurous and we're, we're kind of just gonna see where the day takes us. <laughs> Gary just had us each pick 
a letter and a number and long story short we came up with we're gonna drive roughly 45 minutes southwest and see where it takes us and yeah that'll be what we do for the day we'll get something to eat first Okay guys, we're in Newbridge. We stopped to get something to eat off of the restaurant name right here. Right now we're starting off with a little healthy family competition. So we have this sand timer and we're making a five euro bet and we are timing it to see whose guess is right. Mine's five minutes. Seven. Seven minutes, six minutes. I wanted mine to be five, but it's She eight. wanted five, but eight. You got it first. She was too slow. So we're gonna see. But that's, that, that's one minute. So it's probably going to be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He originally maybe. said ten. Maybe nine. I, I said ten. I think it's going to would be like a five, a ten, a fifteen sort of a thing, yeah. you know? Yeah, so, so it's but probably ten. But even if it is ten, I'd still technically win. You said ten. And then the closest. Anyways, our plan to just drive and end up somewhere wasn't the greatest on a rainy day. It's like super rainy, so anything that we would do outside, it's just not ideal to do outside. But yeah, we're gonna eat, see how the weather is. Dad won the sand timer. It was six minutes and 45 seconds. So everybody has to give me five euro. So we all have to give Dad five. The weather wasn't clearing up, so we ended up stopping at Liffey Valley, did a small bit of shopping. Hey everyone, I'm just cooking dinner. I thought I would briefly show what I'm cooking because I absolutely love this dish and I will either put the recipe on the screen and you can pause and screenshot or I'll put it down in the description. I don't follow the recipe anymore. I just like remember, but yeah. Anyways, basically you have some chicken thighs cooking in butter seasoned with salt, pepper, paprika, and onion salt. And we take these out of the pan. They're not fully cooked as you can see. That butter got pretty burnt looking. I don't love this pan, but that's okay. We put a little more butter over here. We have some garlic that I had chopped up. We're gonna need some cream, lemon juice. That's half of a lemon. You can maybe do a whole. And then I made some chicken broth, just with one of the little cubes and boiling water. Uh oh. Some parmesan here. Sprinkle that in. The recipe will have the, you know, measurements. Oh, did my camera view change? <laughs> it used to have a um, pan that I could put right into the oven. It was like a stainless steel. I don't have that yet. Um, we'll be buying new kitchenware and I would like to have something like that, like once we do move into our house. But, so that's why I have this. I don't know if this could handle going into the oven. Whoa, 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 whoa. My phone said, I don't wanna be here. Oh, I forgot. You're supposed to put in spinach right now and let it like, you know, cook up for like a second, like kind of, what is it, wilt? I don't know. But I don't have spinach and it doesn't affect the taste, so that's okay. I'm gonna put the chicken thighs over here and we pour it in the chicken. Put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Then you can do whatever side you want. I do tend to do rice just because the sauce is quite liquidy of a sauce. That's it. We went to the mall today. I got a couple things. I'll show you guys what we got. Um, it didn't really go how we planned. We were hoping to do a little bit more exploring, but with the rain, it was just gloomy and I don't know, this past month I've just felt a little bit like, I don't know, run down, probably multiple things. I still have like an upper respiratory infection or whatever I have, I don't know. She didn't even say that that was it for sure. Then just the stress of other things on my mind and having moved into the rental and all of that jazz, I've just been a little bit tired and I will check in with you guys later. Okay, it's hardly later. It's actually like two minutes from when I said I check in later, but I'm gonna show you what I got. I just got two things from Fershka. And let me just say this. There's something about sharing what you bought with the internet that does make you realize 
maybe I could have a little bit more self-restraint. Anyways, well, this was on clearance. It's uh, this sweater. It's fleecy on the inside. It was 18 euro. I love my neutrals. Uh, yeah, just a comfy, cozy thing. I just thought it was cool, this, um, the neck. Cause like normally if like I, I get a sweater, it's like a crew neck sweater or even hoodies, you know, they don't ever really have a unique neckline. So I liked that. And then not too exciting, but I, I did love the color. I actually would like to get like our bedding Something like terracotta or like a burnt orange. I've been looking at duvet covers online. So I was kind of some inspo for that. Yeah, and then just this sweater. It was like, that was 12. I'm gonna go blow my nose again. I've never, it's TMI, but I've just never produced so much nasal fluid. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm blowing my nose a lot and I'm getting a lot of results. Hopefully the last two antibiotics like help do the trick. Otherwise I might like have to go back to the doctor. I don't know. Okay, that's that. I'm excited about my sweater. Do you guys think I have a shopping problem? It's like a bunch of birds out there. I would show you, but I don't want to show you outside my window. Wow, it's a crazy amount of birds out there. I don't want to show you out my window because privacy. I am gonna go go uh, blow my nose and then eat some. Hey guys, I'm just chilling, having a relaxing moment in my room by myself. The living room is a hot mess full of toys. And honestly, sometimes when it's so chaotic, it like kind of stresses me out. <laughs> I like to come up here and just chill in peace. So in about five minutes, we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus 2 as a family, a little family movie night. I've heard good things about it. What did you, did you guys watch it? And what do you think? All right, I'm gonna go for now. I thought I felt more chatty, but I'm just sitting here and I don't, have much to say so talk to you later hey guys it's monday morning i'm going to get my nails done i stopped well here's yeah these are the nails they were like a nice autumn brownie kind of purple color i got a starbucks let's see let's see how she is gary took the girls to school today he usually does that on a monday because he's usually off work and that's really nice i really appreciate it it's a nice little break for me um, later in the day, I'm really excited. We're going to Newbridge Farm with, it's actually our neighbors that were our neighbors when we lived at my mother-in-law's house and their little family is so cute. But yeah, they have a one-year-old and she's like so cute and the girls and I adore her and like would always love when we would see her outside and anyways. So yeah, so I've actually, like I've, I've talked to um, her a lot, not the one-year-old, but like her, her mom. And I really, really enjoy talking to her, but we've never like actually went out and done anything, kind of like actually hung out. So this will be really nice. I'm really excited. Her husband is from New York. I think I must've mentioned that aspect anyways. They moved over a couple years before us. And anyways, we just like really, really like them. They're like the cutest family. And so we're really excited to, go to the farm and yeah. So I'm gonna go, I'll show you what my nails look like after I'm done. Hey guys, I'm back from getting my nails done. I just made myself a delicious little pita, had a little lunch and these are my nails. I love them so much. I've actually done this design one other time before and yeah, it was a few months ago. So I decided to do it again because I really, really love it so much. I'm gonna wrap things up here. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I will see you in another video. Bye.